fans, and welcome to another episode of Silver Screams Reacts. Uh, today, what are we reacting to, Katie? <laughs> we are, we're doing something that would normally live on my channel, but I got impatient, watched it, realized that, damn, I should have done a reaction to it, and also it should be on the horror channel, so here we are. For those of you who are familiar with Overwatch, today they dropped an announcement for a new character named Sigma. Holy fuck, y'all. <laughs> just, just... Holy fuck, the, the paragraph that they gave to us is that he, I, mm, I don't remember the exact bit, but he... He's an AI a, fragment. <laughs> he's, a, he's a scientist who does not know that he's being used as a weapon. And I think Dark. once you watch it, you'll see why. Because I've seen it already. I was like, you know, the character intros, they're only ever like two minutes. They're, they're fun, but they're not huge. I don't need to save it for a reaction. And then again, I watched it and I went... <laughs> so, we are doing the Sigma origin story for Overwatch. So, I'm reacting to it, and she's and reacting I'm watching to me her. react to it. And also, I've only watched this once, and it was on my phone at work with my headphones on, so I'm also going to be like, slightly larger screen! I also don't really know what to expect, so yeah, we'll see. <laughs> um, so, I guess without further ado, it is the yep. Sigma origin story trailer. Gravity. <laughs> Gravity is a harness. My entire career Look at those has been brows. devoted to this idea, to this moment. Decades. If the unifying theories are correct, we will soon be able to harness the power of a black hole. Oh no. Nothing will ever be the same. Why? This is wrong. To feel this failing. What happened? Oh, shit. Where am I? Why am I being imprisoned? He released me. Whoa! short film it, so like they did so much with so little also uh, talon tank talon finally has a tank talon six stack uh did they announce who, who's doing the voice they announced it on twitter i don't remember his name but i definitely followed him because cockety Ooh, hell joe's my dude my God, and just the editing, there are bits in there where the dialogue is backwards. Yeah. And I saw someone, like, before I watched this, I saw someone tweet, like, here's the video backwards, and I went, why the fuck did you do that? And uh, had I known, I wish I would have saved it. But I'm also wondering if some of the comments don't have, like, I haven't looked at the comments, like, To see if guys, they deciphered those backwards messages. Yeah, if uh, anyone has said, so here's... And also the... the Boris Heinstand. Yeah. I'm not familiar with that voice actor, but... Bravo, Boris! Dude! That was incredible! And this oh. is also the piano piece that was playing. I can't remember what it's called, but it's written in what's known as free time, meaning it has no time signature. No nothing. <gasps> That's so cool! That's so fitting! Like, it was an existing piano piece. Yeah. Well, I, 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 again, there, half of Twitter's like, oh, it's called this, it's this! But again, 
no time a piece signature. Of no on time that signature. That for someone very who telling may or may not be having temporal issues as a result of being exposed to a black hole. I think this this is the going theory is that it's potentially a time thing and that he is displaced from time or existing in two different times simultaneously close enough to function but not really. Um, we saw the disjointed from reality and people are saying that it looks a lot like what they were doing for Tracer when she initially was having those issues, which is why she wears the yeah, like, harness. Yeah, so who even knows? But we're all pretty damn sure that Talon broke him out of that institution and we're also all pretty damn sure that Moira was instrumental in putting him back together because look at how he's standing. Yeah. Even just the fucking posture is her, her yeah. fingerprints are all over this shit. Absolutely. Like the the armor design and everything like that. Even even the little floating I don't know what those are. I'm going to call them I'm hickeys. sure those have to do cuz they remember they were at the very beginning with the title card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure those have to do with his like harnessing the black hole and I'm sitting here going how does your work fit in with Zarya, with the Graviton Surge? Yeah. How does this work? Because you also get little bits between Sombra and Tracer, because Sombra's translocation technology is based on Tracer's chronal accelerator, and it's stolen. Ooh. So you, you kind of get them being snippy at each other, because, you know, Sombra. Sombra being Sombra, as she do. But yeah, I want to know how this ties in with Zarya. I want to know how this ties in with everyone else. We're all sitting here going, okay, where the fuck is Sojourn? Can't not say where the fuck is Sojourn. And I am holding out for a BlizzCon release announcement. Put her on the platform she deserves. Can't not say that. Still real fucking excited for this. I'm still really excited just because of how they presented this and this, this story and just like god they i would have loved for this to have been a 10 minute short film like i mean don't get me wrong they they did a perfect job in two minutes but like i i legitimately could have watched this for another eight and like been just as glued to the screen um just because of the 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 way it was cut the the sound design i think my favorite part of the trailer was when um the black hole gets activated and it's the mirror image of him on both sides and it's the first time he starts screaming like that was really cool that's when you know like you get the you got the sense that like okay things aren't gonna go well for this guy you know when he's t when all the equations are appearing on the wall and everything like that but that's the moment where things hit the fan and you're like oh <laughs> cool and then like the disconcerting cut to him on the hospital gurney um with that complete like he's not even looking straight ahead he's not looking at anything he's just it's all out. yeah he's like unfocused gaze yeah he's and just all, the like finger a, going yeah like, you oh can hear the music the music with no time signature what is that's that so, melody oh that's so cool can you see why i wanted to do this on the horror channel yeah Absolutely. Yeah. Like, the, again, usually trailer announcement, like, character trailers are like, this is really cool, we got some backstory, we got some this, I like this, and this one is just like... This, there are people who play Overwatch who don't care about the lore, which, cool, awesome, you know, priorities. This is getting people who don't care about the lore into the lore. This is people going, I need more. I need more of this. This is an incredibly... It, Affected, like you said, a short film. Yeah. And this is unlike any other character trailer they've ever it's done. It's horror-esque. It's, it's that high concept sci-fi storytelling, like kind of akin to like Annihilation, a distilled yeah. into two minutes. That's incredible. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, yeah. Eric Sati. Nasien number one. That's what it's called. Okay. G N O S S I E N E number one. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. 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 Oh man, that's so cool. Yeah, you start messing with gravity, you get all interstellar, and you start messing with time, and yeah. Oh, this is this is really cool. I'm I'm legit trying to see if anyone has said anything about the backwards dialogue, and I don't think I have. So I think I am going to just 
go to Twitter and be like, guys, guys, what's it say? Google might have it. Tell um, me things. Google might have it deciphered at this point. Like if you just Google it. Um, Honestly, but anyway, I have a friend, uh, Luna. He's a huge Valiant fan, and he is also he has a degree in I cannot remember which branch of science. But the initial teaser for this is hey, character announcement, and then it was like five equations, and he was sitting here going, all right, this equation refers to this, and it means this, and this equation refers to this, and it means this, and if you put these three together, a con refers to this. So we're looking at this, and we're looking at potentially this, and it could be dealing with this, and I'm just sitting here going, I should be taking notes. Holy shit, I mean, I'm, a, I'm assuming it's all quantum physics. That, that's a my guess. A lot of it is, like, gravity yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. It's all shit that has to do with gravity. So not quite quantum, but yeah. Yeah. Just and he had this, the after wall. watching this, he also had a whole big thing about how um, string theory and tying into black holes and how maybe if they were able to tie, use string theory and tie it into black holes, maybe that's how they were able to do it. And make, like He had an actual theoretical scientific explanation for what Sigma might have been doing here. And I'm just sitting here going, shit, dude. I just, I want to take notes. I just want to sit here and be like, Hi. Well, it's I it's have... always really nice when you get fiction and then someone who is actually versed in this shit in real life goes, here's what it means. Yeah. Here's these things. Where and you're like, like, Blizzard did their homework. It's, yeah, it's always cool to find out that storytellers aren't just pulling out techno babble for the sake of techno babble. Um, yeah. Where it's like, oh no, there's a real root in truth of that they've incorporated yeah. into this story. And that's, so that's really cool. Real it's exactly. Like, as much as I didn't like Big Bang Theory, every time there was something on Sheldon's chalkboard, I think there was like one time where it was incorrect. But every other time it was like actual equations that could work out into things because they had consulting scientists and physicists and whatnot yeah. on board. So, you know, it's credit where credit is credit due. Credit where credit is due for that. And uh, like like I said, for this, they were all real equations because Luna was like, hi, I have a degree in this shit. Let's talk. And we're all like, god damn, dude. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, well, this was spectacular. Uh, I kind of want to watch it again. <laughs> uh, we can. We, we can. Let's watch it again after this. Um, but anyway, I want to know, um, what do you guys think of the trailer? This is the first uh, Overwatch video that we've put on this channel. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in seeing more, they live over on Katie's channel. Uh, there are many a trailer reactions to, to character shorts that we've the, done on the her The cinematics. We, yeah. We mostly do the cinematics. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you're a big Overwatch fan, hop on over to Katie's channel. Uh, if not, uh, if this is like your first exposure to Overwatch, then... Welcome to hell. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Welcome, welcome to the, the there's, show. There's I guess. like 30 some odd characters, and not all of them have lore yet, as we all stare at Sanyana. And this is like uh, the, the first, maybe not straight horror, but it, at the very least, horror adjacent trailer that they've done. Um, which is kind of saying something because they have a few characters where it's like if they wanted to, they could really lean into the horror. And this seems to be the first time that they're leaning in to the horror. Um, I mean, they've done, like, Junkenstein's Revenge stuff, but that's yeah. always kind of like, can't be horror. Well, and, like, um, Bastion's... Bastion's was a lot more Miyazaki. Yeah, like, no, and that was more film. tragic than it was yeah. scary. Um, his short film was... It was essentially a Miyazaki film. Yeah, yeah. Divo's was the alien invasion, or as close as it gets, you know, mech fight. Um, Maze is also... Tragic. Yeah. Tragic. But also kind of like, I don't want to say like apocalyptic survival, but like well, survival. No, more suspense. Yeah. Um, if, you, if you want to do anything like that. I'm still waiting for the day they do a, their stop motion uh, Christmas one, which is great. I'm waiting for the day they allow Reaper to have a Halloween short. Uh, <laughs> because it's Honestly, Gabe's favorite holiday. <laughs> I really, really want a Zenyatta short. I know. Give Zenyatta lore, you cowards. <laughs> I say this as I am super fucking excited for all things Sigma, because I wasn't <laughs> kidding about, like, I see this character, I'm like, oh shit, this has hit all my, I want to know more about this character, give me more, I'm interested, shoves face into buttons. Like, um, all of them. I'm, I'm super intrigued by Sigma. Like, I, again, I want, I want the short... They summarized him as, doesn't know he's being used as a weapon. And I'm like, yeah! 
Yeah, to a certain, <laughs> certain degree of uh, awareness clearly going on here. I do want to say that like when uh, Sombra got introduced, they had the short 2D animated introduction, and then they had the cinematic as well. I'm like, I'm leaning in, going like, okay, See, that was the 2D here's, here's one. The can thing. we get the Can we get the uh, cinematic? Here's the thing. <laughs> they had the same for Ash. Those are the characters that get BlizzCon introductions. Mm. They tend to get, they have, you know, their, their character backstory short. And also the fully animated cinematic. We had that for Sombra. We had that for Ash. This is why I want Sojourn to be a BlizzCon release. Because that, be that cool. is going to come with a cinematic, which is either going to be Sojourn Modern Day, which is going to be great, or it's going to be way back when in the heyday of Overwatch. Either one sounds fantastic. Um, and if neither of you know what we're talking about, again, hop on over to Katie's channel. It's almost like she does a podcast. I do. Well, I do a podcast about Overwatch League. Speak it's a little different. Speaking of, Katie, where can people go if they want to keep up with you? I thought you were going to ask people to put things in comments. God damn it. Uh, well, we can, we can do that at the end. <laughs> Who's your main and why isn't it support? <laughs> I want to know uh, what... Uh, what sort of Halloween shenanigans do you want Gabe to get up to? Because I, for one, would love to see him uh, dealing with trick-or-treaters. I want to know what you think Sigma's going to be capable of. Yeah! There was, there's no developer update for this, yes. This might have been forced because Team Mexico leaked screen caps that had Sigma as one of the played characters. Oops. Like, we saw his face and his name before we knew anything else about him. Ooh. Like, we knew another character introduction was coming down the line, and we knew it was a he, because Jeff said things. But I was expecting it to be Evil Maui. I wasn't expecting this guy. There Are you was... disappointed? <laughs> I mean, I would have been down for another person of color. They, they, they had... Um, a short story actually about Batiste and it went into his past and it brought back some of the people he'd worked with in uh not Blackwatch Talon and it was very obviously setting up this huge Polynesian guy like they drew a picture of him like it's evil Maui it's <laughs> it basically it with the body type and the hair it, 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 it's it's Maui from Moana but he's evil and it's kind of amazing but the way they were describing combat it's like Oh yeah, no, he's absolutely a tank. He was absolutely the tank in this tank DPS support trio. And so they're like, yeah, we're going to introduce a new a new hero and it's going to be a he. And I'm like, it's totally going to be that guy whose name I can't remember. So he's just in my brain as evil Maui. No, it's this completely new, like, what? He came a little out of left field then. He huh? did! Well. It's kind of amazing. So again, I would have really liked another person of color. I would have color. I would have loved Sojourn. Still holding out for BlizzCon for Sojourn. Just like, come on Overwatch. Let's do it. Let's go. November. Come on. I, but holy shit, y'all. I would love I would love a cinematic for this guy. Please give me a cinematic for this guy. And Give uh, me a Talon cinematic. Give me all of the... Give, give me this disaster squad. Because that's I mean, what they are. We it's kinda, a disaster squad. We, we kind of got that with uh, Sombra Cinematic. Uh, was them, like, we we got half team. of Talon Squad. That was before we had Doomfist the Third and true. Moira and Sigma. Uh, yes, show me this trash fire team. Um, that again, give me Gabe's Halloween short. I just it would make me so happy. He doesn't have to be dealing with trick or treaters. He could be coming up with a costume for Halloween. I I'm. I like Reaper. Anyway, I have candy like, shotguns. He just shoots candy and <laughs> trick or treaters. Stay off my lawn. Or he he sets up. I feel like he would respect that. Like if any kid could get past his elaborate haunted house setup, they deserve their candy. He would be sitting on the front porch watching them go in a costume that he made himself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because dude and totally makes again, his own costumes. He'd jump out at kids, and anyone who was brave enough to make it through his haunted house of horrors would deserve their candy. And Reaper jumping out at kids is really saying something. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> oh, and then they make it pass, and he's just like, I'd love it so much. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> anyway. So we want that too. Pretty please. You know, about the time the Junkenstein comes back. Pretty please. Anyway, uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, thank you for showing me this. This was awesome. Uh, yeah, this was goddamn amazing. Yeah, this was friggin' cool. Uh, so yeah, let us know what you guys think about this in the comments below. In the meantime, Katie, where can people go if they want to keep up with you? You can follow me all over the social medias as well as on YouTube and Twitch at Kiaje. That is K-I-A-X-E-T. All of the non-horror reactions live over there. Like I said, normally we do this one there, but I was impatient today, and therefore this. Yes, so if you want to see all the rest of the Overwatch reactions, they're on that channel. I am also on an Overwatch on Overwatch League podcast called On The Point. We talk about Overwatch, we talk about Overwatch League, we talk about all that stuff. And with the announcement of 222 Roll Lock and the uh, oncoming Stage 4, we're going to have a lot to talk about. So that is on all of your podcasting services and also on that YouTube channel. And I'm Megan. You guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Mingwin. That's T-H-E-M-E-N-G-U-I-N. -E um, be sure to follow Silver Screams at Silver underscore Screams. Like us on Facebook, all that jazz. I am also on a Lost Retrospective podcast called No Love Lost. If you guys like your sci-fi sort of out there horror adjacent stuff, uh, my co-host Will Link loves Lost and I don't. And we talk about it. And, uh, of course, you can catch both of us on Rooster Team Radio talking about all things Rooster Teeth. So check that out on Anchor or on your podcast app of choice. Uh, so, yeah, again, really looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say about this trailer because I'm kind of blown away. Um, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Let's see nine. <laughs> This is the worst team I have ever played with in my life. When we finally get on the point, everyone dies. <laughs>